Hi, this is Kathy from Lady Stamp a Lot. I'm an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator in Chesapeake, Virginia. And today I wanted to show you how to make this cute Christmas card. And it's called a double Z fold card because you can see how it looks like two Zs there. And this card I um, saw on Pinterest originally designed by Terry Lynn Bright and I am going to show you how easy it is to make. It is really, really easy. Now I use the um, Snow Wonder stamp set from Stampin' Up. This is in the August to December 2020 mini catalog and then I also use the coordinating snow time dies. So I'm going to show you all the pieces that you need. I did all the stamping and everything ahead of time just so I can mainly show you how easy it is to put this together. So for this card, you're going to need a half a sheet of uh, cardstock. So this is four and a quarter by 11, and it is scored at two and three quarters and five and a half. And I will have all these measurements on my blog so you don't have to write them down right now. Then you'll need a, a, this is Pacific Point. And then um, the second piece in a coordinating color is three, three and one quarter by 10. And that is scored the same way at two and three quarters and five and a half. Now for your um, white pieces to stamp on, this snowman piece is stamped on a piece that's three by four and a quarter. And the, the two inside pieces are the same. They're cut at three by two and a half. So this is three by two and a half. And you could have them both be stamping or I used the Snowflake Splendor DSP. And this color is Island Heather. And then on mine, I also used a one inch circle and a one one and a quarter inch um, mat behind it with Highland Heather. So let me show you again how easy this is to put together. The first thing you may have noticed is that I have this detailed um, snowflake impressions in the card. And how I did that was in the Snow Time Dies, you have these two pieces right here and they really are embossing pieces. So you take the part that's detailed and you put it down on the cardstock. And I put it so that the two shorter um, sides are at the top, the two longer sides are at the sides. And then you run it through your die, step in, cut and emboss machine, and it will emboss that impression into the cardstock. It's a really, really wow in real life. And then I ran it through again at the bottom and did the same thing at the bottom. On my original card, if you want to save some time if you're making a lot of cards, I just did one here at the corner and then one down here at the other corner. So there's a lot of different ways you can do that. But I just saved some time by doing that off camera. But that's a really, really cool feature of these dies. Okay, so once you have that, um, the smaller part that's scored is going to get folded down, and then this is going to get folded back, so it looks like this. And then the coordinating piece, you want the larger piece at the top, and that's going to get folded down, and then this will get folded back. So I think to make it a little bit easier, we're going to go ahead and um, attach everything here. So we're going to add our little snowflake piece here. Again, this is three by four and a quarter. And I'm just going to use my liquid glue and put this on here. Oops. With a little even edge. Oh gosh, I made a big mess. It's okay. So that's there. And then on the inside, this section here is where I put my designer series paper. And I think for this one, I'm gonna use this design. This shows more of the purple. 
sometimes it's so hard to decide which paper to have showing because they're both pretty. So I'm just going to put the patterned paper in there again, leaving a little border all around. And ahead of time, before I went ahead and stamped a greeting from the stamp set and left a little space for me to sign my name or write a note. And that's going to go there. Okay, so this is going to make it a little bit easier to make sure we get it in the right way on the card. Okay, so this is going to fold like this. I'm not sure where my bone folder is. I have my bone Here it is. Okay, so your bone folder helps you get those creases. Nice. Okay, so we're going to come over here. Again, let me go ahead and do that with my bone folder. All right, so you can see that this smaller flap here is at the top. And then I just like to um, lay it down first, because again, I like to keep a nice even border all around. And you can sort of look at your impressions from your dies and it kind of the way I did it, this, the corners kind of go right in the center of the snowflake, which makes it really easy. So then I'm just going to open this up and I'm only going to glue down the part where the greeting is. All right. So again, if you use your liquid glue, this gives you a little bit of a chance to move it in place if you don't have it exactly the right place. So I'm going to put it down where I think it should go. And then let me just see if that looks good. Yeah, see, that looks really good. So... So that's just there. This piece in the middle doesn't get any glue at all. Nothing here. And then we're just going to glue a little bit at the top because we just want to have it attached to this piece. And I always like to attach it to the, um, the picture piece and not the back piece. That's just me. And I'm just going to put my fingers here and keep the glue above where my fingers are. All right, so I'm just going to glue that down. And that's all there is to it, really. It looks really hard. It will press your friends and family if you make this card. It is really not hard. The only hard part would be to cut all the pieces the right way to correct measurements. Okay, so then I'm going to come in here. And I took this greeting is from another stamp set it's the itty bitty christmas stamp set this is one of my absolute favorites for christmas it has a lot of greetings for tags and for cards and i just thought it needed a little bit something more so i um, stamped that on white card stock punched it out with a one inch punch and then the little mat behind it is one and a quarter inches and i'm just going to uh, glue that flat down sort of up here all right and then the very last thing I did was to add a little bit of interest a little bit of bling is these adhesive backed snowflakes um, these come in two different colors one is sort of just iridescent and then these are bluish and they already have the adhesive on them. So all you need to do is come in here with your, take your pick tool and pick it up. And then just place it down where you want them on your cards. So there you go. I just think this card is a really wow card, but it's really not hard at all to make. So again, all the measurements will be on my blog. And if you need any help, just reach out to me and I'd be glad to answer any questions. And if you're ready to purchase these supplies, go to my online store. And thanks for stopping by and I really hope you'll give this a try.